Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and today we're going to go ahead and do a review of this Moleskin Professional Notebook. Um, I picked this up uh, at my favorite little um, store that's a uh, damaged freight store. It's in the teal color and it's from the Pro Collection. This is different from the uh, normal Moleskins that you would get. It's got a Table of contents, it's got key tasks, project planning, goals, numbered pages, detachable pages, to-do lists, double pocket, and adhesive tabs. Um, and it's their professional series. I picked this up. It says $5.99, but I actually paid half price for that. So I got it for $3, which is an amazing deal because these run about $25, I think, um, out of like Barnes & Noble and online. But it's uh, 7 GM paper or 70 GM acid free paper, 13 by 21, which is a 5 and, and 8 and a quarter, uh, 240 pages. It's got the double expandable inner pocket and the little pamphlet there from Moleskin. Um, so it's got all these different features to it. And uh, I'm going to use this in my brand new Chic Sparrow uh, wide. Odyssey Hera Deluxe that I just got, which is why I'm doing this now because I just finished opening that and I want to set this up in that and I don't think I can wait much longer. So I've actually had this for about two weeks thinking that I was going to do a review on it um, once I got the Chic Sparrow. So we're going to open this up and I don't want to damage those pages. So I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. I do like moleskin a lot, um, uh, but the cover is very similar to their other hardbound uh, covers. Um, going to open that and take the cover off. Now it says this is a reusable, well, this is stuck to the back. So, so you've got the moleskin uh, invention there. And. Um, it's, my name is, you can call me, we just met at some, uh, like B-side reusable packaging. Um, I don't know that I would actually use these, but you never know. Uh, because I have my own business cards, so, but, <laughs> handing somebody a piece of paper that says, hi, may I introduce myself on the cover of a moleskin? I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm just thinking, hmm, maybe a business card would be better. Just a thought. So here it is. This is the five uh, by eight and a quarter. It fits in, this is like a regular cashier's notebook. Um, you can see the, let me get one of the moleskins. So that you get in a three pack, it's the same size as that. And, um, Nothing on the spine. So there's the opening uh, in case of uh, lost, please return. And, ooh, okay. So you have the uh, professional notebook. There it says. Then you've got key tasks, project planning, personal goals, uh, group goals, note pages, and then your table of contents. So I don't know if this is supposed to um, uh, be in competition with like the bullet journals or I'm not sure but I love having a table of contents that's already noted um, so back here it tells you the detachable pages and the to-do lists key tasks I love how it has I don't know if you can see that um, it has the column here and then a smaller column there uh, and then project planning so the project uh, date in the notes, project date and notes. So you have two sheets of that. And then you have personal goals. And then what I'm imagining would be a date um, column there. Group goals, um, again, with a larger space to write and a column for, I would imagine, either page um, or date, something. Uh, then note pages. And I'm not sure. Okay. So this is a blank sheet. Um, what I was seeing on the back is coming through. But so that note page is blank. 
And then, huh, okay. So this actually explains this. Good thing I had this next to me. So this, okay, and it says an original and simple graphic layout to help you organize your notes. Um, the square, which is up here in this area, is an area for basic meeting notes, name, agenda. Um, and then the dotted space, which is here in this section, is an area for in-depth notes and key subjects. And then the forward arrow right there is a place for action points and next steps. So that key is all right in here. And then you have a space up here to write the date. So um, additional features, I'm just gonna put that here since I didn't read them early. Numbered pages and a table of contents for e easy tracking of notes. Um, opening pages to set down key tasks, personal goals and group goals. Project planning to keep on top of priorities and deadlines. Last section with detachable pages and to-do lists. Adhesive tabs to create personal sections. And spine or, cover spine or cover labels for title, project, and name. So we go through all of that. And uh, it's interesting. That had, seems like it had a mark on it. But anyway. So that's how it goes through the whole book there. And then in the back. Um, so that goes there. Now, so you've got your pages go to 210. Oh, so these are the perforated pages, but they're in the same style as the previous pages. So you have those that you can rip out. And then these are the uh, perforated pages for, what did they call it? Detachable to-do lists. So these are the, to oh, okay, and you can, they are perforated in the middle and on the side. So, if I wasn't a dumbass and actually the red up there, to-do list. I'm doing this without my glasses, so I apologize. And then that ends that. So in the back pocket, which you have this pocket here, which you can slide things in, and then the regular pocket there, and then these are the adhesive, um, Spine cover labels are here, and then these are adhesive tabs, which there are, it's not really glossy, well, I guess it is kind of glossy, but it's not super glossy, but you get three of each color, um, so 12 total of adhesive tabs, and then this is a spine or a cover label, and this is a spine or cover, cover label, and that's all that's in there, but it's a, it's actually a really good size pocket there and that section pocket. And what I love about the moleskin is that they have the, the uh, coordinating color there. So I think that's very cool. But, um, so you can actually slide this in. Now the one thing that you would want to not, that you would might worry about is if it went out from the top, but once you have the keeper on it. It wouldn't do that, I don't think, unless it was small. But there's that. And then you have the little story card that comes with it. But usually, there we go. There's like little stickers that come with it for the quality control, which um, I actually sometimes cut and use for uh, a tab itself. But yeah, this is actually really nice. I Love that this is so detailed in the index with the tasks and all of that. Um, and this is going to, as I said, going to reside in my uh, Chic Sparrow. Oh, I didn't show you the, the bookmark. It looks like it just comes with the one. Yep. But it's a really nice bookmark. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit different texture than the ones that you, that I've been, that I normally see in the moleskin. So, uh, but I love that it matches everything. Uh, and like I said, this looks like it was made to match, that my Shakespeare was dyed to match this, which it just kind of, everything's been coming to me in teal in 20, for 2018. So, um, 
I doubt that I'm going to actually hook this in, but I could, uh, if I felt like it, to put it in there. I would imagine that it would not hurt it too bad. So there, it actually fits quite well and wouldn't fall and doesn't seem to affect the book at all. So I may keep that in there, I don't know. But you can do that uh, or how I might also use this is using it by just sliding it in there. Although that doesn't work. Hmm. Could do it in the back. Now that I've got it shoved in there. So, that doesn't seem to work there, although if I use it in the back, I'm going to lose the ability to use that pocket. So, with the hard notebooks, uh, I know that Kara at Chic Sparrow, she puts her hard A5 in, her bullet journal in it, but I may just keep it like this and let it sit in there like that, like so, and just, there you go. We'll see. I may also, let me take this out, show it to you. In this, and I think this is actually what Kara did. Um, see how you have that little space right there? I may actually undo this middle string and run one of those down through the back of that so that it is sitting on that opening of the spine and not inside the book. So see how that opens up? And you have plenty of room in there. So you can see that. So I may do that and run this center string through it um, so that it is held because Honestly, I think this would be my setup, is these three pieces. The two moleskin cashier's notebooks, um, and then the professional. That would be my ideal setup, and that is exactly what I'd hoped would work. So, this is a great notebook. It looks to be um, like it's going to work perfectly for what I want, as far as taking notes and action plans and everything for my vlog. And it will work inside my uh, Chic Sparrow very lovely. Um, and so there you have it. So hopefully you have enjoyed this review of the uh, Moleskin Professional Notebook and uh, for structured thinking from their Pro Collection. And if you have used one of these, let me know how you're using the different sections in the comments below because I love how it's set up and how they suggest you use it. But I also love the planner community and know that you guys are way more creative. So let me know how you're using these different sections, uh, especially if you're using this for video. Um, this is going to be my vlog tracker so and notes for my vlog and how I'm going to set things up. So let me know in the comments below. If you have not subscribed, please do. And uh, you'll get notifications of any of my other notebook uh, reviews and also... Uh, for my vlog and other things. So again, this has been the Moleskin Professional Notebook, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.